Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog, and this time I'm taking a look at the all-new Sphero Spark Plus, which is kind of the next generation version of last year's Sphero Spark Edition. So, of course, this one has a few extra bells and whistles going for it, such as being waterproof and therefore able to swim and perform some of its coolest tricks in the water. Uh, I'll be showing bits and pieces of this stuff as we go along through the video, along with a few still photos as well, so you can get a better understanding of just what this thing is and what it does and what all comes with it. But, as always, there's plenty of additional details in the written review, so do check that out. I'll post the link to it below. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about the Spark Plus is just how easy it is to get started using it. It comes with an inductive charging cradle and USB connector cord, so charging is quick and easy, and you'll get about an hour of playtime out of a single charge, which I thought was pretty impressive. And, because it uses Bluetooth Smart to connect to your smart device, all you have to do is download the Lightning Lab app and follow the simple steps to get connected. It's really quick and super easy, and the range is pretty good too at roughly 100 feet. Once this is all done, you're completely free to start doing whatever you want with your Spark Plus, including writing command code algorithms to make this thing do your bidding for you, or simply using one of its pre-programmed tricks, like tracing out a specific geometric pattern, for instance, maybe like a square or a circle or a triangle, whatever, or you could possibly let it run through a fun and colorful light show, or even have it start jumping around like something possessed. Now, the Spark Plus comes with a few accessories, including a sticky tape measure and a 360 degree protractor. So basically for building mazes on the floor and then using the centimeters on the tape and the angles on the protractor to kind of program your robot to be able to navigate its way out of the maze. So pretty cool stuff if you're into this sort of science and math elements of this thing. Now, I personally enjoyed making the Spark swim and making it drive around freestyle which can be controlled from the app via the screen I'm showing right now. The color palette on the right there allows you to choose what color your spark glows and the larger circle on the left allows you to drive around at speeds of up to four and a half miles per hour and basically steer any which way you want to go so really a whole lot of fun there. Truly, the real selling point of the Spark Plus is its educational value. It promotes learning within the major STEM subjects, so things like science, technology, engineering, and math. But Sphero's motto with the Spark Plus is, learning is evolving, get on the ball. So this new version of the Spark takes the STEM acronym to a whole new level by adding an A into the mix to spell STEAM. And what the A stands for within this context is the liberal arts, so subjects that promote creativity and critical thinking. It seems that the goal here isn't just to get kids interested in the STEM fields and subjects, but also to help them grow into overall more well-rounded individuals. And that, I think, is where we'll leave off for now. As I mentioned earlier, there is more detail in the written review, so feel free to check that out via the link below if you'd like a little bit more detail. And as a final verdict, I do have to give this bot a recommendation, though for me personally, not really being a big math and science kind of guy, it's not really my favorite Sphero product. That honor belongs, of course, to the awesome little Star Wars droid BB-8, which I just think is loads of fun. Anyway, if you or your child are more scientifically inclined than I am, then I think there's a pretty good chance that you'll like the Spark Plus just as much as I like the BB-8. So, for now, and as always, this is Leo Bond saying thanks everyone for watching, and have an excellent day.